My name is Jim. I served in the United States Marine Corps from 1988 to 1994. I deployed uh, twice, once just to Okinawa for deployment, but uh, my deployment in uh, big deployment where I got wounded was in Somalia. I was Operation Restore Hope. We were the first ones over there, uh, the Marine Corps. We went over to try to help feed the, the Somalis and uh, wound up turning into a combat mission, basically. People were getting trigger happy. That was the main thing. That's how I wound up getting shot. It's even harder to deal with when you get shot by friendly fire, I think. I got released May of 94. I was, that was about a year and a half after my four-year enlistment. You have sleeping problems and, uh, you know, you go through a divorce, all that happens. It just takes a toll on you. Uh, it, it exacerbates your symptoms, basically. Back in 01, uh, where uh, just too much, too much at one time, and it all crashed at one time. I had a, that's when I started getting real treatment for my post-traumatic stress disorder. Counseling, uh, my experience, is pretty simple. Just uh, a good doc will just, uh, you know, hey, what's going on with your life right now? What are you doing? It's just, uh, it just helps you vent, uh, get it off your chest, talk to somebody. It's confidential, you know, it's private. If you're afraid to talk to your, you know, your parents, your spouses, uh, brothers, sisters, this is somebody you can go talk to and just say, hey, this is how I'm feeling. One-on-one -on -one is the way I like it, and um, we just talk about what's ever bothering me that day, or, or he, you know, he also gives you some, some strategies of how to control some symptoms. It's just like having diabetes. It's just like having an amputation. It's actually a physical disability. It's just something you can't see. I rarely have dreams now because I take a medication that suppresses those dreams. My agitation is down, my anger gets down, I'm able to control it a little bit more. Um, but yeah, it, it, it helps in my situation. You gotta work it out, you, you know, it takes time. A lot of vets, they, they don't wanna put in the time, but the end result can, can help. Like I've been in VA and uh, I've always had a good um, psychiatric help from the Veterans Administration. Um, just don't give up. It can take several medications, several doctors before you're comfortable. Don't give up. Um, there's always someone out there. I mean, get it started.